Hello and welcome to another tutorial here on FX Hive, your special YouTube channel for visual effects, effects in digital world and everything related to the effects realm of digital creations. Today I want to dig a bit deeper into the volume rendering of Redshift and as you can see I have some yeah, nuke explosion here in Houdini and um, it's pretty interesting. I found found some interesting stuff out here I want to show you and uh, as you might know the op IPR rendering of uh, Redshift is pretty amazing pretty fast as you can see here when I go into the viewport and put my my nuke around uh, I have to activate it but here you can see that it's actually very in very fast and very very good for shading purposes and um, yeah um, what you have to do is actually simming your explosion and go to your pyro import node and in the pyro import node you go to the material and there you assign your shopnet redshift volume material so this uh, is here in my shopnet it's a shader operator net shop means shader operator and it's my rs volume here and you have different abilities to use uh, the channels you have simulated in your explosion for example here the density explosion uh, density channel for the scatter point and you can uh, adjust the scattering pretty pretty decent here to the to the explosion can change it but what i want to show you is here the advanced top in your redshift volume material and you have an old min old max new min and new max here in the density remap range and as you can see now, uh, you can uh, can see very good what it's actually doing. It's remapping your density uh, to a certain value here. And as you change this, you can see how your your rendering is changing. I'm um, doing the same for the new Max. So everything gets brighter. I get those very ugly uh, uh, squares there. So I want to get rid of them. And the uh, emission remap range here is, is the same same stuff with, uh, with the mushroom. And um, you can change a lot of parameters inside your IPR rendering when you do volume so um, that is actually something especially for FX artists and FX TDs and, and visual effects artists it's a very good way to quickly shade and make your explosions accordingly to the shot or to whatever you want want to approve and uh, that's what making uh, the redshift rendering very impressive um, I have here, for example, scatter coefficient, and you can see that it's scattering the light more and more into the volume. And um, we have also the chance to remap it here. Uh, when you put colors inside, for example, something red, then you can make your own shader buildings uh, inside your explosion so um, i will make it more more orange and you the more you push it away to the to the right the more it's vanishing inside your explosion so let's do some some uh, black here to make it more interesting and as you can see it's a pretty interesting way of shading your your elements. Mm, you have um, a 
emission here with the scale. You can see that when I pull the scale up, it also starts to to uh, brighten up the the scene. And especially for the mushroom, uh, for the shock wave, I want uh, something more um, something more thicker smoke. So uh, can really exaggerate it and get some interesting smoke patterns. So um, and when I move this around here and I gonna put my camera a bit closer to this guy here to this mushroom devastation element. Um, you can see how it's uh, reacting when you use your different shader approaches. You always have to keep <clears throat> to keep in mind that the uh, IPR is good for clamping or uh, not clamping for hammering out the shape and the the, f the uh, shader for your explosion. But when it comes to the final rendering, you always should uh, go to the to the um, custom redshift renderer because just for the quality you have uh, there in the output. But it's a very good way to, to test and to see what your machine is actually doing with the image. For example, when I crank up the, well, uh, the samples here, it's also getting actually slower, but you get a more crisp. Or when you use the filter here, it's a pretty pretty good way to to achieve the the different um, pixel uh, calculations of your uh, filter so i'm gonna make this to um, oh sorry to one the channel yeah and um I will, I'm going to calculate some more uh, frames here of this explosion. I will come back right after the simulation is done. So as you can see, I simulated some more frames here, to, uh, frame uh, um, 72. And you can see the result here of the um, heavy explosion nuke or whatever pocket nuke uh, and um, the cool thing here with the scatter remap ramp is that you can actually ramp and uh, map that values that color values here like you have uh, seen in fume fx for example for 3d studio max or for maya you pretty easily can adjust your colors and set them up and um, so if you uh, if we zoom out here we can see that i changed some uh, adjustment in the scatter coefficient and in the absorption coefficient and i set the interpolation here to hermit but the main changing for this look was actually that I added another redshift dome light and what's also very cool is when you go to the redshift volumetric scattering you can enable this and then you get scattering inside your volume of the uh, GI uh, rays. And I set it very, very low because when you scale it all up, you will see what happens. It's getting very bright and the, the scene gets over, over sampled with fog and you can actually change the fog, fog size here so um, so I set the um, 
scattering fairly fairly low to have more scattering inside of the of the volume and i will show you some play blast of this explosion here yeah and all in all it's i'm i'm like i said in the previous uh, videos i'm very excited about redshift i'm very happy that it's working so fine with the rtx card and this is only a, a very low simulation of the effect but you can actually when you tr want to try this nuke effect here you can pretty much look it up on my web page and there is the asset for you and if you think it's too expensive then just send me an offer i'm very very happy to negotiate and i'm um, often accept even low uh, amounts of offers so that's it i will make a play blast now and then uh Thanks so far for being part here on FX Hive and thanks for watching. And if you really like and enjoy the videos here on this channel, then give a comment and subscribe and see you soon in the next episodes. Cheers. So ladies and gentlemen, as I promised, here is some play blast from this pocket nuke. And you can see it's a... Uh, Achieved only with the default parameters of the nuke uh, asset you can get on the website. And you can make it very, very fast, very slow, very big, very low. There are a lot of settings you can adjust. So I um, hope you like it and um, would love to see you soon here on FX Hive. Cheers a lot.